to my YouTube channel Decode ITES. Decode ITES provides you single learning platform for multiple IT technologies. My name is Rohit Garg and I am having 13 years of experience as database administrator, database developer and trainer. You can also follow us on my personal blog MS SQL Fun. SQL Server Access Authentication and Components SQL Server Access Authentication SQL Server Security is primarily DBA responsibility and required to secure guard your data. SQL Server Database contains your users and business data that need security from unauthorized access. SQL Server Access Authentication is crucial aspect of SQL Server Security. In layman terms, authentication is key to access and how SQL Server safeguard your data and how SQL Server will authenticate particular user to access your data is all about SQL Server Access Authentication. SQL Server provides a list of mechanisms to provide access to user. For new DBAs or other than DBAs, this process seems to be complex and confusing. These access controls help to provide exact access to each required user to ensure zero extra privilege or data access to anyone. Components of SQL Server Access Authentication SQL Server Access Authentication has three components principles, securables, and permissions. Objects that can request SQL Server resources called principles. Access to principles is dependent on the scope. Based on the scope, principles can be divided into two types server level principles and database level principles. Server level principles are which can be granted server level permissions and can access server objects. Database level principles are principles which can request database objects and can access database level settings. Securables. Securables are server or database objects to which authentication can be provided. Like table and point securables are divided based on scope, server scoped, database scoped, and schema scoped. So principles which are the one to whom we can grant the access and securables are those on which we will grant the access. Permissions. Permissions are giving control of securable to the principal. So what control or what access you want to give to particular principal on particular securable is comes under principal. Principal can perform the required operation of securable as permissions assigned. Permissions at server level managed via login and server roles, whereas at database level permissions are managed using database user and roles. I had drawn this diagram to share what all comes under SQL Server Access. SQL Server Access has three components, principles, securable and permissions. Let's first go to principles. Principles are the entity to which access can be granted or who can request access on SQL Server and its data. On basis of scope, we can divide it into two parts, server level and database level principles. Server level principles are server scope. That means it will provide access you at server objects. Server level principles are the only way to connect to SQL Server to access data. They are the entry guard to ensure only authorized person enters and perform legitimate functions only. SQL Server principles has two components logins and server roles logins is the part of server scoped security principle used to connect and access the sql server in other terms credentials like user id password token certification based access to your data login are of two type in sql server windows login and sql server login windows login can again be of two type individual login and group login individual login means logins added in sql server 
directly for access and windows group where group is added in sql server for access and all logins part of that group will have indirect access to sql server types of login depends on authentication mode and authentication mode depends on authentication types sql server supports two authentication types windows authentication for windows based logins where id password saved in ad and authorized token is provided to sql server for access and sql authentication where user id and password stored in sql server and user provide user id and password each time he wants to log in on basis of these two auth types sql server support two authentication mode windows authentication mode where only windows login can work and mixed mode authentication where both sql server and windows authentication works we had also discussed the same in last video over sql server authentication in sql server authentication video we had discussed windows authentication and sql server authentication in detail let's move to next server principal server roles second component of server principles are server roles server roles are security principle by which we can grant server level permission to logins server roles are of two types fixed and user defined fixed roles microsoft comes up with nine fixed roles and this can be used while granting permission to logins these roles are also called default or built-in server roles the second is user defined roles this is also known as customized server roles in case you found nine fixed roles are not sufficient for your requirement or your environment requirement you can create your own server role with customized permissions next part of principle is database principle similar to server principle database principles are used to provide and manage permissions at database level database principle has two components database users and database roles db users are entity that can request access on database and its objects whereas database roles are database security principle by which access can be given to db users database roles are similar to server roles the only difference is server roles can provide permission at server level and database roles can provide permissions at database level also similar to server roles database roles are of two types fixed and user defined microsoft comes up with nine fixed database roles and you can use it for database user permissions these roles are also called built in or default database roles second is user defined also known as customized database roles in case you found these nine roles are not sufficient for your environment you can create your own one with customized permissions we have completed server component of sql server access authentication next component of sql server access component is securables securables are object on which permissions can be granted securables are of three types on basis of their scope server database and schema server scope refers to server object like always on endpoints login database scope refers to database objects like keys schema roles full text catalog users and schema scope the tables views store procedures we have left with last component of sql server access authentication permission permission as name clears it's all about what you can do permissions are granted to login over securables for required control and functions we had discussed the sql server access and its components we will be discussing each components in detail in coming chapters stay tuned thanks for watching do like share and comment our videos also subscribe to our channel